Some spots could double their snowfall so far for this winter. The rain arrives here in the metro by 8, 9 o'clock, so the tail end of the morning commute and then just kind of a washout for the rest of Monday. Dark skies just move over downtown Kansas City. 30 mile per hour winds to the south, 40 mile per hour winds to the north. That's 70 mile per hour rotation in this storm. Arctic air mass going to be invading from Canada just in time for the weekend. We have nearly five inches of rain and we're only two months into the year. Six to ten as we go from rain to that wintry mix of rain, snow and then all snow. 50 to 60,000 feet tall. So these are tall, mature thunderstorms. Moments away here from the doors opening and in my arms I've got one of the resident reptiles. Oh. Ooh. Time frame still looks to be 7 to 9 o'clock from Hiawatha Atchison up towards St. Joe. Our estimated hail size has just gone up right over Clarksdale. Already clearing skies for most spots on the Kansas side of the state line. Keep the expectations low, okay. right? Okay. So you're surprised yeah. when it warms up. I like that. The rebound. The big change is the weekend. A nice warm up. We go from the 30s today to near 50 degrees Saturday north of I-70 is more steady, consistent, widespread snow. It's more flurries and light snow showers from the metro south. So how much are we expecting here in Kansas City? Most likely one to two inches. I think everyone gets at least a dusting. There we go. The lights are on. Bye. Jackson County Christmas in the Park starts Wednesday. Wrecked sun rays here are now passing over the equator, so we're getting less sunlight now about 12 hours of daylight here in Kansas City. There's kind of a band of heavy rain and lightning that's drifting northward, so more heavy rain is incoming here for the metro tailgating Sunday morning. Chilly 25 degrees kickoff temperature barely above freezing my entire life. I really thought that there was like some Canadian boxing match like <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I did not connect the we could start holiday. That. <laughs> We're weather aware on your Sunday night a live look downtown. Can't really see the buildings out there because of the mist and low clouds. It's kind of been stubborn all day long with temperatures actually mild in the 40s for most of the afternoon. But now our temperatures starting to go up a little bit. 51 degrees now up at the airport. Most of the metro is warmer than that. And that heat, those higher temperatures, is actually fuel that thunderstorms are going to use as we head into the overnight hours. So here's the big setup. There's a strong low pressure down in Kansas and Oklahoma, and storms fired up earlier this afternoon along a dry line. And what's key to tonight's forecast is these 100 plus mile per hour winds, just a couple of thousand feet off the surface. That is what is going to fuel these storms as they head in our direction. And also those winds going to be pulled down to the surface, which is why damaging winds are primary threat here through the overnight hours. So right now there's a tornado watch in Oklahoma, a severe thunderstorm watch for southeastern Kansas as this line comes through several severe thunderstorm warnings right now around Wichita. Uh, but this line that's approaching Emporia, Manhattan, Topeka, it's below severe limits, so that's good news. There's a lot of lightning in this, though, and some gusty winds to about 50 miles per hour. So I want to time this out for you. And this is really going to be kind of our first round of storms that moves into the metro this evening. So this line approaching Topeka here at about 40 minutes by 10 o'clock near Lawrence by 1020 into Johnson County by 1030 into 1045. So this is what we're going to be monitoring and as we approach that 10 11 o'clock hour. That's when storms really start to move into our area. So again, 10 o'clock is when that window begins for strong storms. It lasts until 3 a.m. and damaging winds are primary threat tonight. So if you are going to bed soon, make sure you have a way to hear warnings overnight just in case you need to be awoken. Again, though, our main threat is damaging winds. Here's the wind outlook for tonight. It's a medium risk for the Kansas City Metro, but notice this red down south. That's where there's an even higher risk for up to 80 mile per hour gusts, and that's also where there's a slightly um, higher chance for a tornado. The tornado risk, though, overall is on the low end, so it's not going to be widespread rotation or tornadoes, which is good news, but damaging winds 60 70 miles per hour can cause tornado like damage in spots, so that's why we need to be weather aware. So storms by 10 o'clock through midnight by sunrise tomorrow morning in the Monday morning commute. Those storms should be long gone. So here's microcast showing when the storms arrive as we head towards 11 o'clock midnight. That's when these storms are approaching the Lawrence and Ottawa area and this uh, radar future radar here is actually an hour or so kind of behind schedule. I think by one o'clock it's going to be mainly on the Missouri side with the gusty winds as these storms come through. 
And again, as we head towards early tomorrow morning, maybe a few lingering showers, but by the morning commute generally starting to dry out. So the winds are really going to be strong even behind the storms tomorrow in the morning gusts to 50 miles per hour. Those stay high through lunchtime down to about 20 miles per hour in the afternoon. So your Monday forecast much better. We'll start off cloudy, but skies clear with some sunshine by late afternoon and temperatures in the mid and upper 50s. So we're weather aware for the storms overnight. They'll kind of clear out before the morning commute tomorrow other than a lingering shower. And then for the first half of the week, not bad 50s with sunshine, a little cooler by the end of the week with maybe a little mischief Friday morning.